In this video, we will be studying the concept of full employment. Now, what is full employment? See, when your demand of labor is equal to the supply of labor, then there is an equilibrium attained and that equilibrium is a situation of your full employment which means that all the people who are willing to work they get the work on the wage rate they are willing to get work so if you are willing to work at rupees 30,000 per month and you are getting a job of 30,000 or 32,000 per month which means that there is a full employment if everybody in the economy gets the job in which they are willing to work for the specified wage rate but see we should understand that full employment does not mean that there is a complete employment in it there are some kind of unemployment that is attached to it because we are living into a very dynamic environment every now and then your demand and your supply changes and accordingly your employment level changes So even if there is full employment, there is some kind of unemployment that is attached to it. So your full employment means a situation in which all those who are willing to work at the prevailing wage rate gets work right but even in full employment situations some kind of unemployment may exist in the modern dynamic economy there are constant changes in the demand and supply situation in the market i've already told you due to the change in technology and some other changes due to the change in the factors of production so there is always change in the demand and supply situation so it is not possible that those who want to work may get work all the time so an economist spencer has defined full employment as a situation now spencer's defined full employment as under full employment is a situation which in which everyone who wants to work is working except those who are frictionally and structurally unemployed we will be discussing about the frictional and structural unemployment in the coming video where we will study the types of unemployment. So it is clear from the above definition that in a situation of full employment there are some kind of unemployment and this is known as a natural rate of unemployment. This is also known as a frictional and structural unemployment is also known as a natural 
rate of unemployment this which means it has existed naturally even in the a uh, state of full employment so full employment is a level of employment associated with a normal level of unemployment so at some level of full employment there will be unavoidable unemployment which is caused due to frictional and structural unemployment your frictional unemployment means if you have skipped your job and you are in search of the other job and that you might get in next one to two months but in that one to two months you are unemployed so the, this is your frictional unemployment and then comes your structural unemployment see if there is a new innovation of technology in the company so what company do sometimes they ask their employees to do a particular uh, type of training to go on the training and the training is provided by the company in that case the company do not pay the employer they ask them to do the training and then they will incre increase their package or they'll hire them again so that is the structural change so in that one or two months the employee is unemployed so it is a natural rate of unemployment you cannot avoid this even in the case there is a full employment i hope you have completely understood the full employment concept do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us